Hey Marshall, I saw your subscriber battles video yesterday and was wondering if I could give you a best of three sometime. I see that when you face subscribers or someone that challenges you, that you explain what they're doing right in the fight and what they can improve on. And I'm hoping you could do that for me if we have a best of three. This is the message that I got on Monday and I responded with, absolutely, which fighter are you best with? And he says, probably Sean O'Malley. I have the most fun using him. And so I didn't see his response, so like a whole day goes by and he sends me another message. Hey Marshall, I know you're probably busy doing videos or anything outside of YouTube most of the time, but if we could still do that best of three, whenever you have the time, just let me know. And so a few days goes by, I didn't see his message, but then I finally get on and I see it, and then I invite him to a fight. And ladies and gentlemen, this man ended up being one of the absolute best Sean O'Malley players that I have ever faced in my life. If there is any video that I don't want you guys to miss, it is this one. Check out how this went. All right, so this man has been asking me to fight for uh, for literally a few days now, but uh, here we go. Thank you. We finally get it. I am using Jose Aldo. He did say that he is very good with Sean O'Malley. Typically when, you know, someone says that these days, I mean, rarely do I really play somebody that's actually very good with the character. So, if I'm being honest, bro, Daniel, if I'm being honest with you, man, I am not really expecting much. But I am hoping you will surprise me, sir. Especially with Sean. It's, it's rare that I come across someone that's actually good with Sean O'Malley because he is not the easiest guy to use in UFC 4. So we shall see. We shall see. Careful with that. Oh! Oh, 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 Daniel. Daniel, I see what you're doing. You're trying to bait me into throwing an uppercut, bro? Huh. All right, so right away I can tell this dude is, uh, this dude, this dude's not bad, man. He's not bad. For one, the way he's catching, the way he is blocking low, Kind of tells me it gives me an idea because he's there's there's a, a level of awareness that you have to have to block low as f as well as he's blocking low all right he didn't oh, but he almost did though all right he switches his stance He's also controlling the center of the octagon very well. Usually I have to go find him, but he is not, he is not, uh... <laughs> oh boy. Oh my God. I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we found, oh, he just sidestepped that. Okay. I think we just, uh, I think we got a good player, ladies and gentlemen. I think, I think we're about to see. Usually... They start off very good, then they start doing dumb shit. So we'll see. We shall see. But right away, it's looking like it's a good one, boys. It's looking like it's a good one. The body there. I don't like how my stamina is, though. And it's because he's working my body. Sneaking in some of these... Sh Look at that. Sneaking in some of these shots. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to kick that shit into second gear, all right? That first round was too damn close. I got rocked, okay? We're gonna have to kick it into gear number two in round, in the second round. We're gonna start throwing some leg kicks now. Cause I've just, you know, we've just been boxing a little bit. We're gonna have to start throwing some leg kicks now. Thank you. Damn, bro. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. You are surprising me right away. There you go. 
You're gonna have to start dealing with some of these leg kicks now. Let's give you something more to something more to worry about. I think this is where his forward there we go. There we go. I was gonna say this is where his forward moving style or him moving forward is gonna benefit him the most once I start throwing these leg kicks. He's gonna have to force boxing. Oh, he just threw the I'm a good player combo. He just threw the I'm a good player combo. The right hook to the head followed by the, uh, I mean, the hook to the head followed by the uppercut to the body. That's the I'm a good player combination, bro. All right, making him switch stances a little bit. Oh my God, he's good. <laughs> I don't want a best of five. I mean, a best of three. I mean, I want a best of three, but I don't want to. I want to try to beat this man twice. I don't want. I don't want to fight him five times. Come on, man. I'm already thinking, like, who else am I gonna use against him? Because I, I can't go Aldo again. I can't go Aldo against him anymore. I don't like, I don't like the stamina issues I'm dealing with right now. Damn, bro. Good hands. Missed that. He checks my kick. That's okay. Okay. No, I see you. I see you. Whiff. That is a beautiful combo he's throwing right there. I'm trying to think who I want to fight him a second time with. Subscriber battles. Where, where, I mean, I said, I already said we're doing way more of these now in 2023. I'm actually thinking of doing one uh, one or two subscriber battles a, a week. Um, get as many of you in as possible. Either that or um, turn my, my channel members back on. That's probably what I'm just going to end up doing. I used to have channel members last year but like I, I turned it off because um the things i said i was going to do i really wasn't doing it and i did not you know like i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna have you guys keep uh spending monthly but i think i'm gonna turn it back on because we are definitely i'm i'm being way more involved so it's gonna be like a way to because because dude like when I, the amount of messages that i get the amount of requests that i get i need to find a way to to organize it right i need to find a way to, to figure out which players i'm gonna fight first it's gotta be a it's gotta be a merit a merit system you feel me and i i can't really do first come first serve because there are hundreds and hundreds of messages that i haven't even seen bro Got him. And please, I really love this right here where the player tells me, hey, I'm really good with this fighter. It's just it's just way more fun for me. Like I don't I don't mean to I don't mean to be so uh particular, but it's just way more fun for me. And I think for the viewers as well. Like if I can if I can tell them, hey, this guy says he is really nasty with this player. At this point, I don't even give a shit if it's Habib. Well, I ain't fighting y'all T4H boys. I'm sorry, but I'm just not doing it. You guys are you guys are just boring as hell to fight. And I mean no disrespect. I'm just saying how it is. Like, look at this fight right here, bro. Look at this right here. Like, this is what people want to see. I'm sorry. Ain't nobody want to see... Got him. Ain't nobody want to see... Me get clinched... 500 times in a fight. 
So, if he can, here's what I'll say. Because in the message, he's, oh my God. Got him back. In the message he sent me, he says something something along the lines of, I usually give tips when I am playing. Dude, I don't think you need any tips from me, bro, to be honest. But if I will say anything to you as well, it will be just move forward a little bit more. Because, like, I am, I am now forcing you back a little bit more than I was in the first round. Because I am throwing leg kicks. And it shouldn't be that easy. Your boxing is too good for you to be backing up as much as you are. Like, control that center. Um, if you control the center, I'm going to tell you right now, you would be outboxing me. Because you have, you actually, I think you might have better boxing. Like, a big reason why, especially with me using Aldo. Um, if I'm using somebody else, maybe. But, look at that. Control that center. Oh! That's it. That's it. Oh, Houdini. Houdini. Set him down again. All right. I think you were saved by the bell right there, sir. I think you were saved by the bell. But like I was saying, I would control the center a bit more. I'd be more stingy with that center. Because things really start to snowball when you start getting backed up. And you're throwing really nice combinations. You're going to the body very well. You're using your teeps exactly how you should be using your teeps. I mean, out of everyone that I fought in in like six months, you've, you're, you're, you've been using your teeps better than like any of them, to be honest. Including the best players that I fought recently. The way you've been using your teeps right now, it's just been brilliant, bro. Absolutely brilliant. You know, your body work. I mean, look at my body. When's the last time anybody got my body looking like that? So, like, I would just trust your center control a bit more. Look at your hands. See that? You almost give me, like, Ed Parker vibes in some instance. I'm not saying... You're as good as he is, but with some shit you're doing, it it, it almost feels like you've you've watched Ed Parker a little bit. Like it's been a while since I fought someone that was a major threat to my body like this. Most players is headhunt. Including the best of them, to be honest with you guys. Nice. Rocked. Sit him down. Sit him down again. Sit him down again. I said, Whoo, man. Bro, great fucking fight, bro. Great fucking fight. Great fucking fight. That was in that was incredible. That was incredible. All right. Uh So I owe him a second one. Who do I want to use? I don't know. But uh we'll jump right into fight number 2 before you guys lose interest. So, I decided to go with Rob Font. I think Rob Font is, uh, he's got, he's got really good hands in this game. He's got the height. And I think he's going to be a, a, a really good matchup for Sean O'Malley. So, let's see. Let's see what I can do with Rob Font, baby. Here we go. I'm going to be looking to work his body as well. Uh, way more than I did in the first fight. Nice. See, but, but see now you back up. This is this is what I 
this right here is what I would just say stop doing. Like, when you land that beautiful combo and you just land it to stumble me, like, don't back up. Like, move forward. Like, you see what I'm doing. Like, notice, I, I, I stumble you, but I don't back up. I stumble you and I keep moving forward. I keep advancing. Or try to try to implement that. Like, like here, keep going forward. Don't back up. Yeah, I see, but now you back. It's a, it's gotta be a posture. You, you, you have to have an aggressive posture. I'm telling you, bro. Like you would command respect. There you go. See how I'm standing right there? It's like I hit you, and if I force you back, I'm advancing. Like there, advance. Advance. If I force you back, I am going to advance. I'm not going to I'm not gonna force you back and then back up. It's a common it's a common mistake that I see players make all the time. If you do anything that forces your opponent back, cover that distance immediately. Cover that space. Steal that space. You have to you have to you have to be a bully, you have that mentality. Right there. See I force you back, but then I move forward. If you implement that, bro, I'm telling you. You're going to be so much more dangerous than you already are. Well, you are good. You are good. I don't even need to tell you much. You're already freaking good. If you and I fought 10 times, you'd probably you'd probably you'd beat me more times than you probably think. I'm telling you. There you go. See what I'm doing? Like how I'm just covering this space. Forward. Forward. Now you go. See? You you hit me with a T, but you keep backing up. That's just yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh! Oh. oh, I forgot I was playing UFC 4 for a moment. <laughs> bro, I started I started clicking my stick. Well played, bro. I started clicking my stick left or right, left or right, thinking I was playing UFC 2. Oh, my God. Wow. He, dude, that was brilliant, bro. To the body. Poof. Rock to the head, rock to the body. I guess I think I got saved by the bell right there, bro. Damn. Okay. All right. Let's not let's not let that happen again. But I am telling you, this man is dangerous as fuck, bro. Like I can already see how he would beat me. I can already see it. But let's not let that happen, though. Let's not let that happen. Because then we have to fight again. There you go. My stamina is so much better in this fight. Yeah, it's just... Rob is a better pick. He just flat out is. If I was using Aldo and he did what he just did to me in that, in that first round, bro, Aldo's stamina would have already been just dead at this point. Yeah, Rob Font allows me to be, uh, to be more more dangerous or as dangerous as I can actually be even though this guy drew serious blood in round number one ah ah this is what we call subscribe a battle baby
You guys have gone so fucking good. Yeah, I'm gonna commend you for how you use your sidekicks and how you use your teeps, bro. I'm serious when I say, like, I, I can't remember the last time I fought anyone that used them as well as you are. You're, like, you're using it like I do. It's, 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 it's fantastic. It's just fantastic, bro. Uh-oh. Yeah, now I'm really trying to pin him. Really trying to pin him. But yeah, just pay attention to, to what I said. I'm telling you, man, like, your game is going to improve so much. When you get that teep, advance with it. Advance with it. All right. It is a better second round. It is a better second round. Let's go! Let's go! Skip, skip, skip! Come on! I want to fight, bro. I want to fight. To the body right there. Here we go. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Also, I've, I've heard you guys. I have heard you loud and clear. Um, the new style of video that I'm doing right now, I am, I am editing it. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I just saved myself right there. I am editing the videos a bit more than than usual. But, uh... I'll probably not be as heavy-handed. It's just fun. I'm just having so much fun making videos right now. It's like... It's, 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 it's how I used to make videos in the past. If you guys, those of you that follow me in UFC 1, you know this is nothing new at all. I just found my love for, con for, for making content again. And that's, that's what you need to do. That's what I needed to do. That's what I had to do as a, as a, as a content creator. I got to try to find a way. I got to try to find a way to make this fun for me. Dude, I just zoned out. I just completely zoned out and started grappling this man. <laughs> Sir, what am I doing? What am I doing? Maybe I should get back up, huh? <laughs> Maybe I should get back up. Right? Ah, uh, yeah. There's no there's no need, bro. There's no need. Yeah. Let's let's duke it out on the feet. Sorry, I zoned out. I zoned out talking about making content and forgot that I was on the fucking ground, bro. Yeah, and that's how that's that's literally how I lose fights, bro. I be lose I just sometimes like lose focus. It that's the thing with UFC 4. It's why like when you guys tell me to stream and I say I I don't know, it's I will, for me to stream this game, got him. For me to stream this game, like, I would have to play in a way, like, like I can't be competitive the whole time. Like, I, I don't have that mental focus, not like I used to when I was younger. Right? Like, right now, my ability to stay super focused lasts an hour at most, bro. And after that, I just start losing fights and just... So, like, for me to stream... Oh my god! See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? For me to for me to stream, it would have to be just like maybe a stream against friends where we're just goofing around and, and just like not really being too serious with it. I could do that. Like maybe I could do like a like a session with Romero. Oh my god! Ah, yo, yo, can you, uh, can you just stop being decent for a little bit? 
Please. Like, can you, can you stop being good at the game for just a moment? Thanks. Ah. Nice. That was smart. That was smart. Go to the body twice, then go to the head. There we go. I was waiting for that. And my guess is he is going to key... No, I'm not going to... My guess is he's going to key in on that. He's going to key in on that. And... He's, he will key in on that, and he is going to be very careful with throwing stationary combos now. Because I'm what I'm looking for is I'm looking to come in, bait him to throw stationary combos, so I can fire off a front kick. But now he's going to be throwing forward moving combos. That's what he should be doing. Damn, bro. Nice work with your teeps, bro. Honestly. Nice work with your teeps. He's rocked. Caught that one. Caught that one. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, it's a war now. Oh, son of a bitch. Bro, why why do you have to be smart? Can you just please do something dumb so I can finish you? Oh, that was the dumb thing. That was the dumb thing and I didn't Oh, I did not capitalize. Oh, fuck. Great fight. Bro, I asked you to do something dumb, and you did. <laughs> Going two body hooks to my body, that would have been a straight up KO. You would have been dead right there. For some reason, I didn't I was doing throw the uppercut, and I didn't throw it. Don't do it again, though. Don't do it again, bro. Don't do it again, because this fight's gonna end. Ah. Get up, get up. I ain't trying to grapple. I want this, I want this done on the feet. There's only one way this ends, Cal. Either you die or I do. That's it. That's it. That is it. Man. Respect. <laughs> oh, boy. Boom. Boom. What a fight, bro. What a fight. You were fantastic, sir. You were fantastic. Honestly, the best subscriber battle that I've had in a very, 
very long time. I don't remember the last time I had a subscriber battle that was this good, bro. This was good. This was very good. This was very good. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, you know exactly what to do. Leave a like on it. And I will see you guys in the next subscriber battle. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.